In 1908, Teddy Roosevelt, my favorite president, is in office, Henry Ford produces the first Model T, and a new tavern opens in Milwaukee, Wisconsin with a bowling alley in the basement. Wait, bowling and beer together? I don't know if that's gonna Maybe. survive. <laughs> oh, spoiler, guys. A hundred years later, this time capsule is virtually unchanged. It's actually the oldest sanctioned bowling alley in America, and the, fam the same family owners still run the place. Well, not the same family, but the same family, not the same owners. <laughs> <laughs> it's been a lot of years. They still have pin boys setting up the pins by hand. I think that is so amazing. So let's go check it out. We'll go to the Holler House and maybe we'll beat a hundred. Maybe this time. <laughs> Hey, I'm Jocelyn. And I'm Mark. And you may wonder, why are we standing out in the rain? Well, it's because Monday when we planned to do this on a nice sunny day, we had just come home from Nicaragua and um, our little one curled into bed with us and projectile vomited all over everything. So yeah. um, here Mostly we are. Mostly towards her, so that was nice. Yeah, it was awesome. <laughs> um, so here we are, we're, we're filming this in the rain and we're getting it in just under the wire. Sorry yeah, about that. Sorry about that. But you also might be wondering why we're standing in the rain in front of some empty lot. Well, so we're standing in front of the Moro plots, and this is the first experimental cornfield in the country and the second oldest in the world. And we just felt like it really worked well with Americana. I mean, there's history everywhere. And, and it's just down the street from my office, too. Right. Mark teaches here at the University of Illinois. So. And that's the thing is there's so much history in the U.S. that you can have American history like, oh, how many how many discoveries have come from here? Just not, the, not just there, but what about at the university? <laughs> Yeah, one of my favorite foods, whipped cream in a can. Um, nice. Mm -hmm. <laughs> whipped cream in a can, no, not right now, thanks, maybe later. Um, whipped cream in a can was invented here. And you know, there's just, there's history everywhere and we love that. I, I am a history nerd and um, I have a degree in historic preservation. I've rebuilt um, a, or done a reconstruction on a Civil War battlefield fort and... The Redoubt, right? Uh-huh. The Redoubt in Savannah and um, I worked for a nonprofit that ran the Georgia State Railroad Museum and, you know, we just the ties in history just keep going on and on and I could talk for like four hours about that. But we only I'll, get two minutes. I'll stop and I'll let you talk. <laughs> no, and for me, history has been a fantastic thing even since I was a kid. You know, my grandfather had his PhD in American history and he used to take us to do Revolutionary War battlefield reenactments. It was such a cool time. Even I got the DAR award in grade school. I mean, <laughs> if I want to go back with that, that's how far I go back with the history. But we love traveling together. We like going around the world and experiencing, experiencing <sighs> cultures with our family. And it's not just cultures around the world, but culture here in the U.S. Yep. Yeah? We've, we've done a lot of it and we've traveled extensively throughout the U.S. And, and the rest of the world. And it's amazing to see how cultures from you know other places come to live and reside and be something different here in the states and uh, we just love it so anyway here we are and um we hope that you've learned a little something about our bit of americana in champaign illinois so this is one of our little treasures of american history what are your treasures of americana in your hometown we'll get to explore these and so many more on americana cross country bye